If you have decided to sell your home for sale by owner, I have 25 ways that you can market your property. And this video starts right now. It's your girl Nia Joy, your golden real estate agent in Charleston, South Carolina with Homegate Real Estate. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today's video is going over those 25 tips that you can use to market your home. Stay tuned to the very end because the number one way to market your home to sell is going to be waiting there for you. Feel free to leave your comments or questions or send me a direct message on social media and I will be more than happy to assist you in any way I can. Now let's get into it. Number one, you want to go ahead and just hire a professional photographer to take the photos of your home. A cell phone camera just can't hit those angles and corners in the house the way a wide lens can. So you want to go ahead and get that taken care of and you'll be able to use these photos in many other ways that we're going to talk about here. Number two, to get the most amount of exposure for your home, pay a small fee and add your home to the multiple listing service in your area. This is where a lot of agents pull their homes that they send out to their buyers. Buyers are also looking online at homes 24 seven. So your home is getting the maximum amount of exposure. This will bring you a great bang for your buck when you invest in this service. Number three, Use some of the photos from your professional photographer and actually create a postcard using Canva or another website. And what you want to do is go ahead and print them out and maybe a nice number is 250 and have them sent out to a radius of maybe five miles to home so that they know your home is for sale. You never know who may know someone looking to move into the area. So you want to get as much exposure as possible. Number four, you want to hold an open house. You never know who knows somebody that's looking to move into the neighborhood. So you want to let your neighbors and friends of friends know so that you can get the most amount of exposure. Number five, go ahead and send out an email to everyone you know to possibly advertise the open house or maybe even your home being for sale. And you can also add a link to where your home is actually posted. Number six, this may not be an obvious one, but make phone calls to local businesses. You never know when a business may have employees looking to buy near their job. Number seven, go ahead and create a professional looking flyer on Canva or another website using the professional photography photos that you purchased. You can actually use these photos at the open house. You can actually take these to a local business and just pretty much even leave them at the showings when you show the house. This would be a great tool for somebody to take home with them. Number eight, add your listing to social media platforms. You can also add a digital version of your flyer to these platforms. Pretty much you want to do that just to get more exposure for your home so that more people know your home is for sale. Number nine, when you are writing up the description for your home and telling people how amazing it is, you want to be sure that you focus on the greatest selling features of the house. You know, everybody thinks their house is the best house in the market, but you want to make sure that you describe your home so that it stands out. New roof, new electrical, um, any updates that you may have made. Everybody's expecting your house to be up to date. So when you say it's up to date, we have to understand what features you may have updated. Number 10, if you do have any new items that you have added to the home or have updated the home with, such as solar panels, roof, anything like that, you want to make sure that if you have a warranty that the buyers know that that warranty will transfer over to them. That's going to be a big deal because buyers are going to feel like they have a safety blanket when it comes to getting that new or updated item in your home. Number 11, get a licensed professional to actually take footage or drone photography of your home. If you live in a rural area or you have some really cool selling points around your area, such as a water feature or golf course, this looks really cool for buyers and really gives them a sense of what is going on around them when they're making this purchase. Number 12, put together a listing marketing binder. 
In this bind year, you're going to have things about the property, such as the year it was built, lot size, um, square footage, pretty much everything you would see in a listing profile for a property. You also want to include information about schools, floor plans, utilities, anything that's relevant to the buyer. Also want to include disclosures, just things like that that's going to help the buyer feel more empowered about making their decision. Number 13, put together a YouTube video or a Facebook video that highlights all the great features of your home. This will make the buyer feel welcome and more comfortable with the features of the home as it comes from the seller and also gives them an opportunity to maybe follow up with questions that they may have. Number 14, create a 3D virtual tour using a 3D camera or you can actually use a process on Zillow. They now allow you to do a 3D footage from your phone. If you follow the instructions, you can then share that link with others so that you may get more views of your property. Number 15, most communities or most neighborhoods have a community Facebook page. You could also post your home for sale there. That way your neighbors will know your home is for sale and they can also share it with others. Number 16, to gain more exposure and more marketing for your property, you can also add your home to a local newspaper or local digital newspaper. Number 17, stage your home to sell. I know it seems simple, but buyers really like it when they have an idea of where their furniture should go, or maybe even like your furniture so much that they want to purchase it along with the house. So you definitely want to give people a feel for where things could be or how things could be placed. And by staging your home, that will definitely do the trick. Number 18, declutter the home. Make sure that buyer can feel how open and free the home is and how much space it has to offer. It's difficult to do that when you have your clothes and your shoes stuffed in your closet. And also keep the counters clear and free of any knickknacks. Little to nothing on the counters will do. Number 19, make sure to remove all personal items from the home, such as photographs and maybe specific paraphernalia that may not be open for every single buyer. You want to have it as generic as possible. Always reflect back on how you may see a home stage in a model home or something like that. Number 20, remove all offensive smells from the house. If you have a dog, a cat, or anything that's causing an offensive odor, get rid of that smell. And if you can ha avoid having any of those items out, remove the items that are related to your pets. Definitely grab a family member or friend and ask their general opinion about how the house smells. You don't want to miss out on having a lower price being offered to you because of how your house smells. Number 21, keep your home looking in its best state as much as possible. You have a short window to probably get your home out there and you want to make sure it's presentable when people come by. Number 22, highlight the amazing landscaping that you have or lack thereof. You can also add in a credit if you're interested in marketing that for your landscaping, but definitely create a nice clean yard, keep it mowed at all times during the selling process. That way that's one less thing to scare the buyer. If the outside looks bad, they don't want to come in usually. Number 23, hire a home inspector to do a pre-listing inspection. This will be so helpful because that way you can identify any issues that you may be having with the home and it will give you an advantage because you know that what is broken can be fixed or if anything needs attention. Number 24, in addition to placing a sign in your yard, be sure to place directional signs so that people know where to turn left or right or they know if they're entering your neighborhood that your home is for sale. And finally, number 25, the number one way to market your home to sell is to price it to sell. And I know it seems simple, but this is the number one thing that many people who go to list their homes do not take into account. So take a look at what's been selling around you, the conditions of the home, and actually price your home comparable to those homes. 
Thank you so much for watching. I am Nia Joy, your golden real estate agent in Charleston, South Carolina. I so appreciate you watching. If you like this video and like to see more, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below. Until then, I'll see you soon.